Hey guys, I am going to review two products today. One is this quick release cold shoe mount I ordered, um, and I will tell you who it's from and why I'm doing it. And then this thing, which I haven't even opened. So we're going to do it together live and see if this solves an issue I have. Check it out. Please stand clear of the door. All right, so here's, look, I'm really new at this. I've got a 150 subscribers on YouTube, but I'm having a really good time doing the vlogging and making the videos, and I'm learning a lot. I know very little about cameras. I, I love technology. I will read stereo instructions, so it's not that I'm an idiot, but my life is busy. I do real estate. I bartend. I've got three kids, a dog, a beautiful wife. I've got a lot going on. So I don't always have time to research like I used to and learn everything about everything. So my vlogging is very amateurish. I've been using a GoPro. I don't have a real camera, but I do like audio quality. So I have bought a Rode mic, which is over there, but I'm just going to use show you this for now. So what I've done is when I'm out vlogging, and if you watch any of my other channel and watch the Disney videos, you'll notice how bad the audio is. And the reason is, is because I didn't think about the fact that it's a directional mic and it's pointing away from me because I wanted to get atmosphere. Um, so when I'm talking, it just sounds bad. Um, I don't really want one that points both directions. I think, I could be wrong, I may learn as I go along, I think I'd like to have the audio coming from one direction and I'd like to choose. I'm not typically interviewing people and I do have wireless mics and I, and I, I don't use those as much. I'm, I'm trying to keep everything light. That's my kid uh, in his text message. Um, I'm trying to keep it light as possible because, again, I'm not a professional videographer. I'm just a dad going on vacation who wants to do some videos. So here is my first option. And I, I'm sorry I'm recording this and I've forgotten the brand. Uh, but I will, I, will, uh, I will type it in below here. And it was a great company. Uh, I found it on someone else, a uh, web uh, YouTube thing. And uh, it's a quick release, right? So you've got the mount and you lock it in. So what I was thinking, because what I'm looking for is something I can just take pretend this is a microphone, just turn it around without it coming loose, like that came loose. So I was thinking that maybe, and I want to be able to do it one-handed, right? That's the other thing, because I don't want to stop and I stop the video, I want to keep going. So if it just had something that clicked and went tick, 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 or tick, 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 a little sound effect for you, that's what I would love. This is cool, and it's a really well-made metal product. It wasn't expensive, it's great. Quick release, turn it around, back on but it's a little clunky, right? Like I, that actually came loose. See what I mean? Rookie, but I'm learning. But I still think this would require two hands to do properly. Like I'm, I'm struggling with it. Like I haven't even tried, this is brand new. So I'm trying it literally on the fly because that's how I do things. I'm not well prepared. What would I do here? So pretend I'm filming microphone, flip it down, turn it around and back up. That's not too bad. That's doable, right? Then I go back to facing forward. You know, it's a little kludgy. I still think something that clicked with the tick, tick, tick would be better, but it's certainly well made. Uh, you know, and I've got a, a bunch of cold shoes on here, so I, you know, could have a light down there or the microphone down there, but I really just want it to turn easily. And watching the other guy, maybe with some practice, I'd be better at this. It's possible. So that's the first thing. Then, as I'm exploring, see, I'm, now it's not even tightening up the way I wanted to. There it goes. All right. This is Ulanzi. I have a bunch of their products. Um, it's another extension thing, which I probably don't need. But what it's got is I'm hoping that it'll do the quick shoe the way I want to turn. It says it does. But the look, we know this is a foreign company that, that does things. The instructions are not great. But the other things I've bought from them... Have been, have been nice. Oh, and look at this. So this actually, I would have thought this had been, but this is the quick mount for the top to angle it. It's got a little tripod. Not sure how that pops out. Oh, here we go. Nope. Is there a click button? Huh. I'm not sure how that opens up. Oh, maybe it just pulls out. Okay, got it, sorry. So, little tripod. Um, I don't want it to extend. I don't typically use that distance feature. So the quick release uh, 
is for the top. So if I had, and I'll just pause here and put it on because it's boring. And this is what this item looks like. Uh, you know, and here's the quick release. It really is well made I, and I love it. I just don't think it quite serves the purpose I want. I'm certainly gonna keep it and I, it's no fault to them. It's just a weird problem that I have here again. And there's probably even a better way that I don't know. Again, Ulanzi, this feels pretty good. Uh, extension tripod MT73, you know, really catchy name. So the only thing I could find, cause I've, I've got stuff everywhere. I've lost uh, the piece of road mic. I've got to call them and get a piece sent to me so that I can use it on a cold shoe is this. So this would plug in here. So now that's on there pretty good. And let's just pretend that's the microphone, even though it's my cheap uh, wireless. Boom, that's exactly what I wanted. That thing's tight, it's beautiful. Microphone can go back and forth all day. And that's all I want. So I'm talking here, now I'm filming you guys, look how pretty you are, and I'm back to talking, which no one probably wants to hear anyway. It's exactly what I needed. I think it was 20 bucks, I'll put the price down there. Um, the tripod is weird to open. I still don't have a good grasp on how that works. It says close, oh, it does extend. So I guess I can if I want to, I didn't even know it did that. Don't care. All I care about is this, so that I can have that audio for the seven people who watch these videos. The other thing I wanted to add in here with my Rode microphone and using my GoPro, the media mod, which I've, I've gotten rid of. Um, but the great thing about this is now the camera's up here and the dead cat, which is big, is going to be down here. Let me just show you that. I'm an idiot. This little piece here uh, came off at Disney and I saw it on the ground and I put it up on a dresser. I didn't know what it was. I do now, uh, now that I'm, you know, a couple thousand miles away. Um, and I, I, it's gone. So I've I got to get road so I can't attach this. But what you can see is, is that before when I had the camera, I had it, you know, off to the side, I think it shows up and I'll show you right here you can see how much video I'm losing sometimes. Like I'm losing 25%, 30% of the video. I think with this down here, camera up here and the lens over to the side, I'm filming with it right now or I'd show you. Um, I think that's gonna solve my dead cat losing video in the, um, when, I, when I edit it. You can see, I mean, just that's a ton of video. And if I've got something centered and framed like the way it is, now my face ends up way down here instead of where it should be front and center, in the middle. Um, so I'm excited about this for that as well. And even if it does get a little close, I can go a little higher up. No, oh, that doesn't make sense. Scratch that. I'll edit that out. But again, uh, I think that will solve my dead cat issue as well. So this is a handy little piece. But there you go. Again, uh, I, I, I do some golf stuff and Disney stuff and I love tech stuff. Um, so as I get new things, you know, I will try to try to help out and uh, and take a, and show you what I got uh, so that, you know, maybe you don't have to spend money on it. Uh, there's gotta be a better way. I think I'm just an idiot in doing this, but you know, that is nice. So it'll stand up pretty well, um, but this is perfect. It feels really tight. I'm just going back and forth. So if it does screw in or out, hopefully it won't loosen. Uh, you know, if I wanted to use this up high, you can angle that down. This is great. So, Pretty exciting. I'm excited to use this. Again, that's the box. Um, this is also uh, by Ulanzi, and I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, but this was a little uh, cold shoe adapter I put on my DJI uh, thing to use the, the better microphone as well. Although this I'm recording with just the uh, Osmo uh, Action 4 microphone, which if you check my other review um, is great. I mean, I was, I was editing some video last night and I was shocked that I wasn't using the road. So in a pinch, um, this definitely works, but I, you know, I want to use something a little better, but this was great. You know, you can fit three things on there. Um, it's again, really well made. Everything I've gotten from Ulanzi is well made. I think even this light might be from Ulanzi. Let's see. Yeah. So even this, and I've, I've used this a couple of times. It, it's, you know, it gets brighter and so you get a little bonus review there of the light. If you need a little tiny light for going around, I think it's waterproof. This is pretty cool, also not expensive. I'll put links below to all this. Uh, I don't get paid for any of this. This is just, 
just me telling you guys what I got. So uh, that's it for this video. Again, I think I've solved my problem. I won't know until I go do something else with it. We'll see how this holds up. Let's figure, see if I can figure out how to close and open this better. Uh, you know, shows what an idiot I am, but I'm happy to, happy to be an idiot for you guys. Uh, let me know if you like this video in the comments. Let me know if you have a better idea. You know, some tips for me, because I'm learning. If there's a question I can answer, uh, fire that up. Or if you just, you know, want to tell me that you don't like my, my, uh, my glasses, I'll listen to that too. So thanks again. Check out the uh, Disney stuff. Uh, we are, I think, on Magic Kingdom. Uh, we're coming to close. So I gotta find. A, I gotta find some new content. I gotta figure something out. So here we are. Thanks a bunch, guys. Um, and I'll hopefully have something new to review soon for you guys. Take care. Just this is the end screen. I'm just waiting so you can check out a video if you're interested.